Hi, Susie and Leslie here. We're grannies on the grow. We're saying get off your butts. That's B-U-T, of course, and do what you love. Subscribe and be a granny fanny. Today is a most important episode for What's the best toilet paper to buy to protect your assets? And for the first time in recorded history, you'll receive an exclusive interview with the world-famous toilet paper shopper. And I stopped flushing money down the toilet. Um, I want to find out what the best price, what the best type, and what the best personal value would be uh, so that I know which type of toilet paper to buy. Great. All right, well, here we go. We're going to go try and value shop for toilet paper. Sounds exciting. So now I have arrived at the actual aisle full of goods and it's overwhelming. So many choices. And I'm supposed to pick out the best deal and the best product. Um, so let's start with the variables that the algorithm is going to come to the outcome is which one is the best price. We have these magic numbers. Nine equals 36 regular rolls. So look at this one. Here's a gentle one, but it's six rolls and six rolls equal 24. Nine rolls equal 36. Six rolls equal 24. This one has 302 ply rolls. This one has 284 two ply sheets. My roll. head hurts already. Now, here we have. This looks like RV roll. Four <laughs> rolls, eight regular rolls. Why don't they just, if this is a regular roll, look at that, puny little roll. If this is a regular, eight regular rolls and it says double roll, why don't they just call this a regular roll now, but they don't. They make up a story. Well, what about this one down here? It is 48 rolls and they're mega of 12, 48 rolls. Or this one over here, 16, 64 megas. I am so confused. Uh, one size says it's not really one size, it's actually one roll, it's two rolls, and two rolls, it's four rolls, and whatever, and then you mul multiply and all the... Now, you think that all that numerology isn't enough? Watch this. You get soft, ultra soft, irresistibly soft, irresistiblement dull. Okay, let me come down here. Ultra strong. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. That's what you need, a strong toilet paper. It cleans better. <laughs> cleans better. So you're going to use less. Well, I, you know my kids and my grandkids, I don't even believe that. That's fake news. It's quilted. Ultra soft. It's quilted like my like, mommy's blanket. Like the puppy covering on a bed. It's quilted. Oh, yes. So this one has gentle care and aloe. But this one has a superior clean, uh, clean because it has ripples, cleaning ripples, so it's more expensive. Ripples. So already we're looking ripples at cost more. the size and the texture and the price. Okay. One of my favorite pictures here is a ton of baby with wings. Angel soft. It's you know the question is how soft is an angel. Or how soft does the paper have to be to please an angel? Do you want to be as strong as a bear? <laughs> or do you want to be as soft as an angel? I think that angels are pretty tough creatures myself. They probably could stand tougher paper. <laughs> That's right. I, what I want is an angel bear. <laughs> an angel bear. Yes. Because this is how I can bear looking at all this stuff. You notice this one, Susie, it, it has echo comfort on it. What do you think that means? Does that mean like being out in the woods and just using twigs and stuff? Well, I think they're saying that this is more comfortable than using a leaf. More comfortable. Oh, I personally using... want to say leaf it alone. It's the, it's the club pack. So let me tell you, what, what kind of a household does one have to have to warrant the club pack? The, the, the thing is, that the household is what kind of club are you in? Or what kind of foods might your people be eating? We're talking about Cottonelle and we're talking about bathroom tissue. Guess what they have 
with the bathroom tissue. A scrubber. So I guess there's some people that they think will need this when they are using this. <laughs> and then they've got these special kinds of uh, um, sponges here with the toilet paper. What is that saying to the consumer? What? Um, yeah, well, you've got... I couldn't take any more. I had to run out of the grocery store. Leslie and I decided to call on an authority for the first time in recorded history. You're going to receive an exclusive interview with the world-famous toilet paper shopper. She'll reveal her secrets to selecting the best toilet paper offers. Why are you here? I'm shopping for toilet paper, and it's so hard to find the best buy on toilet paper. But why do you have a, a paper bag over your head for this interview? Well, because I don't want to be known as that person in the toilet paper uh, section with her calculator on her iPhone out, trying to stand there and figure out square footage and cost between all the different kinds of brands and trying to find the best buy. Tell me how you calculate the best price. Okay, what you have to do first is decide if you want one ply or two ply. That's very important because when you're comparing prices, you have to compare the one ply with the one ply and the two ply with the two ply. Otherwise, the math doesn't work out correctly. So I already know that I like the uh, triple roll of um, the Cottonelle. And so what I will do, the triple roll comes in different sizes, like 12 or 18 or whatever kinds of sizes they have of the toilet paper. So uh, what I do is I calculate which could be the best buy. So taking for the different sizes, and I'm going to say the biggest one right now is uh, the uh, 24 mega roll. I take the total square footage and I divide it into the cost. And then I do that for the other mega rolls of different sizes, like if there's a 12 roll pack or 18 roll pack. Uh, that's how I do it. What advice do you have for people buying toilet paper? I would find a place that has good prices every day and I happen to like Target because they do have a base price every day that doesn't vary. And I found in my math that um, if I compare to what a, a grocery store has, uh, the grocery store came out to be about six cents per square foot and at Target mine came out to be four, just under four and three quarter cents uh, per square foot. And even better, sometimes Target runs advertisements that if you buy two, you get a $5 gift card. So that brings the cost down even farther. So I've decided that I pretty much always go to Target. And I, in that way, I figure out the best cost for my money. And I stopped flushing money down the toilet. So that doesn't sound like a big difference. I mean, six cents versus four and three quarter cents. But think about this. Think about you use toilet paper every single day by every member in your household. And so it's important that over time that you don't flush money down the toilet. Thanks for traveling along with Grannies on the Grove through this journey of the conundrum of getting the best toilet paper for value and for my RV. Um, and uh, hey, give us some comments if you've got something to share about the, your experiences with trying to figure out the whole pricing structure and packaging of toilet paper these days. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so that you'll hear from us when we have new videos. Goodbye. Bye-bye.